Thomas. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, Sims. Thank you for welcoming Morning to the team and the viewers. Now, take us through how this music journey started for you and uh, how you ended up being a recording artist. I think for me, Sims, uh, I've always dreamt music and I've always written poetry, but I just never knew what I needed to do with it. But um, in the past two years, I've went through a spiritual journey and it has um, led me to where we are today. So in a business meeting with uh, Oskido, he was visiting in the house and the, he saw an open space, uh, which I had left that when I'm done with uh, engineering and I'm retiring, I'm gonna get a, a studio in there and start doing something with the songs. So he put it upon himself uh, to walk with me the journey, to put everything together. He says he saw the hunger, but I, I understand now from the spiritual journey that um, it was truly divine intervention to lead me to be able to spread the word of the Lord through music and poetry. And at what point did you experience that epiphany that uh, you know you needed to do music on a full-time basis? I'm, I'm still not doing it at a full-time basis. Um, uh, the Lord gives you different spiritual gifts. I still have a, a task of addressing basic services in Africa and, and that's one task I'm also fully committed to. And through music and poetry, as, as I get closer to the Lord, as I learn the word, as I read it, I capture my own lessons and I share them. And, though, and that's what uh, is being referred to in all of the songs uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the album. You see there's a verse that speaks to it. In all the poetry that I take out on social media, there are verses that speak to it. So it's referring to the summary of the lessons I've recently uh, learned because I'm continuously uh, reading the Bible. I've just finished it uh, cover to cover in the past 10 months, but it's something you don't just read on a Sunday. It's something you go to every day. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what the musical journey is doing. You know, Mr. K, so many people have frowned upon the use of, uh, you know, various genres to fuse with gospel music. Uh, for, for instance, some people can't actually stomach, uh, you know, or come to terms with the fact that you can fuse gospel with guaito, fuse gospel with jazz, or fuse gospel with uh, I'm a piano, for instance. So what sparked the idea to fuse gospel music with R&B and dance beats? Seems uh, those things do definitely do exist in terms of people's view of what should be. And, yeah. and they're always driven about uh, the culture of religion. Um, in this period, um, I'm learning that what I was taught in the religion and uh, the kingdom of God and having a relationship with God are two different things. Mm. Uh, everything mm. is created by God. Any different beats is created by God. It comes from Him. And if it's able to capture a different uh, sector of the community and relay his message, there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what we're trying to do even in the album. People like different things and everybody should come to the, to the Lord. It shouldn't be about the gospel, typical ballads. It should also be about dance music. You should find people dancing uh, a sportini somewhere and they realize that the Lord loves them. You mm -hmm. should know that they find God only in church. I suppose then we need to focus more on the content and the messaging in that particular song and not necessarily the medium at which it is transmitted. Now, tell us more, Mr. K, about your debut album and why you decided to, on the title, Put God First. I think for me, it's, it's a reflection uh, as well seems of, of my own life. Yeah. I think I've started seeing a change in my life when I started putting him first in everything I do. Mm -hmm. So. Um, even the volume two of the album is still going to be put God first because people need to appreciate the world that exists in him if you go to him and you put him first. Yeah. yeah. So that's the message that I'm, I'm, I'm sending through. But it's a 12 track album uh, which was out in November last year. Um, we've got uh, two songs uh, that are really doing well on, on the radio. Uh, Please Forgive Me, which I did with Miss Twiggy, and Is It You, which I did with uh, M. Lou. But the whole album is, is, is an amazing album, and each song is based uh, on a verse. So in it, you're going to find the, the typical uh, the church song, religious songs, a few of those. You're going to find dance tracks, uh, as we did with uh, Please Forgive Me. But you're also going to find the love songs, because um, if 
when the Lord Jesus summarized the commandments, said we should love the Lord our God with all our hearts, but he said we should also love uh, each other. So the track, um, Is It You, is a track that reflects us loving uh, each other. So the album is, is structured in that way. And I understand that the album was inspired by the Psalms of David. It's very, very interesting, I must say. Now take us through the making of this Definitely. album, Mr. K. Uh, it being your first project, how was that experience like for you? I, it was definitely uh, an amazing experience. I have to say it was a totally different uh, environment for me. I'm normally used to a much more structured uh, engineering uh, process, but this was exciting as I spent a lot of time with creatives from producers like DJ Spillet, uh, DJ Chase uh, as well, and the, and the multitude artists that are featured uh, in, in the album. And, and some of it also demonstrated some of the technology we even have in the country because some of the artists i was never in studio with them that please forgive me i did it in a different studio it was put together in a different studio with the vocalist but you are able to see uh, the products coming out at the end so it was definitely an amazing journey your sound is a fusion of different genres have you found a description of this uh, particular type of music that you make uh, it's, it's gospel music. Uh, it's gospel music uh, because okay. it's sending the, the message of Christianity. Okay. So, but in it, if you look at the typical genres, you are going to find ballads in the album. You are going to find dance music as well in the mm, album. Mm. And you're going to find R&B type of tunes uh, in the album. Okay. But, and, um, and when people listen it, to Put God First, what are they going to hear? And what experience will this album provide them with? It, it's gonna give them an experience of the word. Uh, for okay. me, if they love uh, the song, they also need to go check out the verse that the song is about so that they can get the message that the Lord intends for them. Okay, cool again. Mr. K, lovely chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. How do your fans connect with you? Uh, Mr. K PGF, which stands for Put God First in all of the social platforms. And thank you so much for the opportunity, Sims and your team. It's been an absolute pleasure, man. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. That was our first music guest, uh, Mr. K. He's an engineer and a gospel recording artist, Kulegani Mumalo, and we're just in conversation with him about his debut album titled Put God First.